I'm partnered with X Rocker. They have great quality products such as chairs, desks, accessories, and more. Feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And when checking out, use the code Ironix10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice. Hey guys, Swax here, and today I'm making another Dragon Adventures video. In today's video, we have yet another few little tidbits to share today. So in today's video, some things I want to talk about. The eggs. So I did actually realize that there was a lot more to what I thought <laughs> for what I thought that I had to do there. So surprisingly enough, I didn't do the math correctly the first time and then ended up doing it correctly the second time, which realized that getting a tier five egg is a thousand and five hundred suns. That's a lot of suns for one egg. And it takes about like, I think, I, I would say about an hour to get at least a thousand suns. Actually, you know what? No, I think you can get, I can think you can get like a thousand in like 30 minutes. If, if you, if you're like good with the time on, cause I was doing the, what is it? The, <laughs> the star catcher one. I was doing that one for just a whole hour. And I think just in 30 minutes, I got like relatively close to a thousand suns. So yeah, I, I still didn't really pay attention that closely to the math, but I do know that it did take a thousand five hundred suns to do one singular five tier egg. So I do have one of those. So that's fun. But in today's video, I wanted to compare the tier one egg chances to the tier five egg chances so we are gonna go quickly try and turn one of these into a tier one egg also okay also wanted to point out a cute little really cool tad bit i thought um the sun here so this i'm i actually pretty sure this has been there but i think they have added it to like i say added it but i think they like changed it so that when the I, I think so at least I, I'm not gonna like say for sure that's what it does but I think when this hits a certain time this is going to set and then be gone so that's really cool I at least I think that's what's happening there they sent a photo of the sun setting so I'm imagining that the sun does actually move now I have not played long enough to actually see that happen and I'm not sure that's only going to happen because this is the final day of the week as you can see right here on the calendar we are on day seven so that means this week is over by whenever this video comes out but that means we have a yet a whole nother week ahead of us of fun things to do which i'm pretty sure we have a moon theme coming up ahead of us so that's gonna be fun but that means sun theme's gone so i would say though if you got to see the sun do let me know i feel like that'd be really cool and if it didn't happen i'm sorry for false information <laughs> anyway let's quickly do this get a tier one egg so at least i could say i have made some progress and we can show some little goods here because you know i feel like it would be kind of necessary information to know the difference between a tier one and a tier five you know also this does lead open to another question about for the next week is getting the eggs going to be the same are we still going to have tier eggs and what about all of that so again I haven't heard any of that. I like how I open a bunch of questions, but I never really have any answers to them. But I do want to keep your minds open to what can happen. <laughs> that's that's my thought process here. Um, for me, I think, I feel like they might keep the tier thing. At least I would hope they keep the tier thing. I kind of like the tier thing. Um, I'm also thinking though, because some other people mentioned different ways of getting the eggs. They were saying for the boss, when that opens up, they might do getting eggs from the bosses. They could do, they said there was a, the egg gamble, which I remember that. That one's pretty hard, but I feel like they could bring that one back since that was a big one for uh, their old Solstice event. So that's always an idea there too. Also, also things to mention over here. I wanted to tell you guys that I realized during the mini games, if you play like a certain amount of times, there is a chance that you actually get an egg from the star catcher thing instead of you going around finding them on the map. Although I should point out, it's not that hard to find them on the map, <laughs> but that's just, I, I wanted to mention because I did say you could get suns from that, but I didn't mention that you could also get eggs, so felt that was necessary. Anywho, looking at my inventory, so we have the regular egg here, which obviously the hex and the soul are locked. You cannot access them. They have to be at least tier one for you to get one of the two out of them, but you can get the new mine out of that. So if you want a 100% chance on that, I mean, it's right there <laughs> so yay um tier one egg though so 
this is going to be the first one that you can get. This is going to probably take the least time to get as well. You know, you get a thousand of those suns and you can just buy like 10 tier 1 eggs, you know? So let's see here. Hex is going to be a 2% chance. Yes, it is incredibly low. I know that. <laughs> These are all incredibly low. They've always been super low. The soul is going to be a 0.5% chance. That is even lower than the new mine is a 97.5 because it puts into the other two. So yay <laughs> so moving on though so since this is the tier one tier five boom that one that one actually gives you a lot higher chances with the soul and it puts your chances a lot higher than the hex actually which makes the hex harder for you to get there which is surprising considering that here the hex is more than the soul so you know it kind of it kind of changes things around there honestly but that definitely is a lot more helpful it is boosted up to a whole 10.25 percent i mean like that that's still pretty low but like it's it's a lot better than what it is like in tier one from a 0 0.5 to a 10.25 percent chance is pretty good so I would definitely say try for tier 5 eggs. If you didn't really try for tier 5 eggs this week, if there's still tier eggs in the next week, I'd say tier 5 is what you're looking for. I guess that although also depends on what dragon you really want, because maybe if you really want the hex, you'd probably want to stick with the tier 1 egg since that's more than the soul. Um, but if you're looking for the soul, I would definitely suggest the tier 5 egg, even though that's a lot of sun. Anywho, that's really all I wanted to point out there, you know? I was like, <laughs> that, that is a really wild, just, oh my god, you can get the ring in these. Oh, wait, hold on. Whoa. Sorry, that, that, sorry, I didn't think you could still get the ring in these eggs. Okay, well, that's a surprise. Anywho, yes. So, again, though, that does lead into, with the next week coming up, what kind of ways do we deal with the eggs? Are they all just one type of egg? Do we have the tier eggs again? If they have the tier eggs again though, I would definitely say tier five is more worth it than the tier one. That was just one of the things I really wanted to point out. Since a lot of people were giving me those ratios in the last video, I was like, well, let me figure this out more. Let me get in more depth with it. Let me figure this out a little better. So here I am. I did it. <laughs> but anyways, that is going to be all for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, part of the live squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!